Welcome to Mike's Do-It-Yourself Garage. We're working on a Volkswagen 2015 Passat TSI Wolfsburg Edition. Okay, it's got the 1.8 liter motor in it. Now if you've watched the oil change videos I did, oil and air filter changes, I show you all the tags on the engine and the side of the car and everything so you can see which type of car we're actually dealing with. Today we're going to do the transmission. So first I'm going to show you all the components you need to do the transmission service on this vehicle and do it yourself. You see here the Volkswagen, genuine Volkswagen brand automatic transmission fluid and the numbers on it here. I ordered this from a company online called ECS and got all the parts that comes as a package deal. You get 5 liters of transmission fluid and replacement screws for the pan, once you drop it out, you can actually replace the screws. comes with the package. You get the transmis transmission filter. Here's the filter here. This is what it looks like. This is the 2015. Let's see if I can get a little better shot at that. I got a little too much light in the background. Let's go this way. There we go. There we go. So this is the 2015 with the 1.8 motor. And here's your... Let me turn that over. There is the transmission filter, and this comes with a pan gasket, it's a rubberized gasket. Now, this particular gasket comes with the spacers already in it, these little things here that help protect the gasket from being squeezed down too hard when it's tightened down to the pan. So this gasket, it's a great deal from ECS because you get the gasket with the spacers already in it, and replacement screws to replace the screws that come out the filter, the ATF, it all comes for about $220. Now additional supplies you're going to need to put the fluid back in. You're going to need something to pump it back into the vehicle. I got this. It's a Pennzoil multi-use pump. I got this at Walmart. It's like $8. It comes with the hoses and the pump. And you'll see more of that later. You also need an Allen wrench with a long shaft on it. A small Allen wrench kit here. Is, uh, is really all you need. If you have one of those, this is a 3 16 Allen wrench with a long shaft. There's a fill tube inside the transmission drain plug and you have to remove that fill tube. That fill tube regulates whether or not you have the right amount of fluid in the transmission pan. Okay, so after we pull the drain plug, you're gonna get a little bit of fluid and it's not that much. You'll see in a minute. You'll need to remove the bolts that hold the transmission pan on to the transmission. And to do that, I'm going to use a socket. Now, being that it's a Volkswagen, of course it's metric. Let's see if I can read the size off of this one. It was really easy to find the size I needed because my kit came with replacement bolts. So I just take a nice clean one out of the package and find the proper socket. And that's what I'll use to take off the pan. When you're doing the transmission fluid and filter change, the tools you need are actually fairly simple. Uh, there's, uh, I have a breaker bar here, and that's going to be for the drain plug. Now, what I've attached to my pretty big breaker bar here is a 5 millimeter Allen wrench on a socket. There's a good chance that the drain plug for the transmission is going to be a 5 millimeter Allen wrench. So you should have one available. This is a typical Allen wrench that you find. This probably will not loosen your drain plug. You won't get enough leverage on this. You're going to need something a little bigger. So I opted for, instead of just using the ratchet, I've attached using an adapter, my 5mm, to a fairly large breaker bar so I can get good leverage on that. Now these come in a set. They're not that expensive. You can get them at your local hardware store or tool store. And this is a number of different sizes and metric and they attach right to the socket set. The fill plug is actually one of these star deals here. I don't even know what you call that tool, but that star looking thing is called a Torx. T-O-R-X. You get the idea, you can see that, right? So, this 
goes into, this comes also as a set, comes with a socket adapter. So you put your star into the socket, attach the socket to your ratchet or your breaker bar. Uh, now there's not a lot of room in there. When you get under there, you're going to find out that a radiator hose is kind of in your way. But with just a little bit of pressure against the hose, you should be able to get this attached to your ratchet will fit in there and you can loosen the fill plug. That should work okay for you. So those are the tools for the most part. I like to prepare in advance for some of the work that's going to be done that way I'm ready for it and also I'm getting less grease or, or uh, oil spread around uh, the garage. So what I've done is I've set a staging area here. Once the I'm going to drain the uh, transmission pan into this triangle here, this catch pan, and then I'm going to use this to pour the used transmission fluid back into the original bottles to be returned for recycling. I've got the paper towels ready to go. I've got a pair of rubber gloves here ready to go. Now next to that I have another catch pan and this pan when the transmission pan is fully drained I'm going to unbolt everything from the bottom and drop the pan down and the pan needs to be cleaned on the inside. So this pan I'll use when I drop the transmission down, I'll drop it into here. And I have some carburetor cleaner here. There are a number of things you can use that will be just as effective. The idea is to, uh, well you'll see, I'll, I'll show you when I'm cleaning it. You know, clean the inside of that pan, take out the magnet, make sure there are no metal fibers in there from the transmission. And then make sure that's all good and clean. So I've got a staging area here, it helps keep the garage floor a little cleaner. All this stuff will then be all put into the same trash we'll go for recycling. Here's what that fill tube looks like that is up inside the drain plug. After you remove the drain plug you'll get a little bit of fluid out, maybe a liter, maybe less, and then you're going to gently insert your Allen wrench up into the drain plug and unscrew this little plastic tube right here. It's just a piece of plastic, be gentle with it. When you put it back in, be gentle. Just make sure it goes in until it seats. You don't have to go in any further than that. Drain plug keeps the fluid in, so this, you know, once it seats, you're good. And this Allen wrench just fits right inside the end of it. You'll unscrew it, screw it back in. Be careful not to lose it. Be careful not to get it dirty. Be careful not to get contaminants inside of it. Okay, this is going in your transmission. You don't want dust, dirt, leaves, spit or anything else in that tube, okay? I'm under the vehicle now, and what we're looking at here is the transmission pan. Transmission pan's just to the side of the oil pan. Oil pan's over here, the one with the ribbed bottom on it. Today we're doing the transmission, so we're gonna service the transmission here. Now, what you see, when we go to the back here, in the back, this is the drain plug right here. We're going to loosen that and allow the transmission fluid to drain out of here. Okay. Now a number of videos online show you a fill, a tube on the top or the side. That's not the case with this particular transmission and pan. On the side, on the housing over here, you see the fill plug right here. So once we're complete with uh, the cleaning of the pan and we put it back together with the gasket and everything, when it's time to fill it, we're going to actually fill it using the pump and the hose through here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out the pan and I'm going to loosen this up and let this drain. Once this is done draining, I'm going to remove the bolts that go around it. You'll see them here. Now the way I like to do this is I loosen them each all the way around until I get them all loose and then remove them. And I'll probably allow the back of the pan to hang just a little bit further than the front in case there's any more fluid in there that should come out and then uh, drop this all down into the drain pan and uh, then I'll show you what that looks like once they get all these bolts out once the fluid's been drained I'll show you what that looks like now before I actually did uh, drain the fluid I took all the tools I needed and I went around to all the components like right here is the fill plug and I made sure that my ratchet fit and I had the right adapter and the right tool in the, and I broke that loose just so I know that it's broken loose and then I went around to all 
the bolts that are in the pan, each one, and just enough, just enough to know that it's broken loose so I can loosen the whole thing. So now I know that everything will come apart nice and smoothly. I won't run into any surprises later. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually remove the drain plug and let the fluid drain.